Welcome to Alabeck Close in Bradshaw, part of what I know as the Turton Heights development, although it isn't uh, the Turton Heights street, it's the middle one of the three. We're here to look at this two bedroom semi-detached property, which is available to rent now. We've got space down the side here, which then leads to the gates where the parking is just through and beyond. Lovely position, I'll spin the camera around on the cul-de-sac. Very, very quiet location. Don't know if you know the position at all, but we're in walking distance of Bromley Cross Railway Station. Now that directly serves Bolton, Salford, Manchester and Blackburn. Um, Turton High School, Eadley School and Cannon Slade Schools are all probably within walking distance, maybe even St. John's too. The position is fantastic, and I'll take you inside and we'll have a look around. We've stepped inside through the entrance vestibule, the fuse box is up on the wall. I'll close that door and just spin the camera around. So now you're looking in the lounge, of course, we've got the stairs off to the first floor. Neutrally decorated, Lovely carpeting, spindled stairs, understairs storage space, just through that door there. This door is into the kitchen. UPVC double glazed window to the front and fitted blinds, two radiators in here. So it'll be nice and toasty with the boiler on. Lovely size living room. And then as we turn around and spin the camera, we're looking into the open plan kitchen diner. So we've got a nice range of matching drawers, base and wall cabinets, washing machine, tumble dryer, dishwasher, and also the fridge freezer. Plenty of dining space here. Stainless steel sink and drainer. The Baxi boiler is mounted on the wall. UPVC window with blinds which overlooks the rear garden, UPVC double patio doors which open out onto the rear garden. Very, very nice kitchen, lovely and clean and fresh. I'm pretty much ready to move straight into, I would suggest. We'll pop upstairs and we'll have a look at the two bedrooms and the bathroom. So we've stepped Upstairs and we're on the first floor landing. We've got one bedroom to the front, one bedroom to the rear. And first of all, we'll have a look in the bathroom. So it's a white three piece bathroom suite, wash hand basin, dual flush WC and bath with shower over and fitted glass shower screen. Lovely ceramic wall tiling, towel rail, radiator, Extractor fan, very, very nice bathroom. This is the bedroom to the rear. I really like this furniture that's included. Uh, matching bedside drawer units with wardrobes to either side and a storage chest with two drawers below. You could probably use either of these rooms as the master if you wanted to. This one at the rear enjoys the aspect over the garden. We will, of course, go out there and have a proper look in a minute. And then as we cross the landing, we open up the door and we're into the front bedroom, which has the benefit of two UPVC windows, both with fitted blinds, display shelving, airing cupboard, and the loft access point is in here as well. Radiator, of course, and to the front, we're overlooking the sort of cul-de-sac of the street. Really, really nice two bedroom, semi-detached home. Uh, just worth pointing out, you might see some just little marks on here. This is gonna be decoratively refreshed um, before a tenancy would begin, but we didn't want it to delay bringing the property to the market. Let's go outside and have a look at the rear garden. So we step in through the double doors from the dining area of the open plan kitchen diner. And we're in 
into the back garden. As I spin the camera around, these are the vehicle gates that you would have seen from the front. So this driveway extends all the way up to here. We've got lovely lawn gardens and the garden just extends behind to where the garden shed is, which is included of course, so ideal for storage. And this just gives a nice aspect of the rear of the property. So it's available to rent now. Uh, minimum term is uh, 12 months. Pets would be considered um, and they would only be considered with a £25 per pet addition to the rent. Uh, both a traditional deposit and the insurance based reposit scheme would be considered by the owner. Um, like I think I mentioned just before there is going to be a little bit of a decorative refresh and some parts inside so hopefully it'll be uh, renewed and ready to move into. Any questions give us a call telephone number 01204 381 281 it's Cardwell's letting agents Bolton 01204 381 281. Thanks so much.